top of the morning, careful, top of the morning, top of the morning, it is 8 o'clock Tuesday morning, and I am in Sweet Home, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama, at my delivery, got here this morning, and um, waiting on the receivers to get here, so they can take the stuff off of my truck. Y'all give me a minute, I'm trying to get it together. But anyway, I'm about to brush this yup mouth of mine. And uh, we're about to start all day. So I hope everyone is having a productive day. And I will see you guys in a second. Jim in the well. All right, Kenfo, now that I'm somewhat woke, I asked somebody to hit me up in my inbox and they asked me, they say, uh, how do you drivers brush y'all teeth? Well, which you say how and where do we brush y'all teeth? So here's the thing, if we're not at a truck stop, then pretty much you gotta do everything in your truck. You know, um, us truck drivers, we live a totally different lifestyle than everybody. And you have to be creative. You have to be creative. So, I mean, of course, you want to keep your toothbrush and toothpaste. And your Listerine. But a lot of times, we keep, like, gallons of water, you know. Got a gallon of water right here. But we're gonna use this here for right now. So you just be creative, you know. Ain't no running water, so you keep your few bottles of water in your truck, you know. And just like you would do at home. Turn this truck off so y'all can hit me. And just like you would do at home you would do inside your truck. And it's just that simple, Ken folk. It's just that simple. You find a little spot to sit your uh, toothpaste, pour a little bit of water on it, and you get the brush. Just that simple. Just like that. So, that same person also asked me, um, how do we shower and where do we shower? Now, I don't know if y'all seen the last video at the end I posted, um, that we shower at the truck stop. You know. But see, here's the thing. Not every day we're able to make it to a truck stop. So again, you have to be creative. And I'm gonna tell you what I would, what I do in a second. Let me get right, Kimpo. Let me get right.
Now, I don't know if you guys missed the other video when I was working out at the truck stop in South Carolina, but at the end, I posted, well, I showed you a little video, a little clip of the showers inside the truck stops. So that's where we take our shower at. But see, here's the thing. A lot of times we're not able to make it to a truck stop. So being a truck driver and over the road truck driver, OTR, you gotta be creative. So a lot of times what we do is, we'll keep us gallons of water in the truck, you know, and me personally, I keep like two bit bowls inside my truck, you know, and I keep my little soap, you know, and I use one bowl for washing and the other bowl for rinsing. Boom, just that simple. And that will hold me down until I'm able to get to a truck stop and take a normal shower. Alright, now I, me personally, I'm not finna just be walking around here smelling funk and smelling crazy. And you got some of these truck drivers, they just don't care. But uh, that's a whole nother subject itself. So that's the answer that person question about us truck drivers how do we shower when we're not at a truck stop? Alright, now we're about to get into some scratching, but we're still waiting on the customer to get here. We about to get into some scratching. We about to start all day. Still got some bags up under my eye, but it's all good, Kenfo. I'm waking up, and we gonna have a good day today. Y'all ready? Jim Minnewell. Let's get it. All right, Kenfo. Now that we still waking up, we about to get into some scratching. And y'all know how I feel about scratching. That's right. Even if you don't plan on working out that day, still stretch your body for at least three to five minutes a day. If you want to do it a little bit longer, that's cool too. But it's good for your bones, it's good for your, your joints, because let me tell you something. The older you get, you know, doctors used to tell me about your muscles. If you don't use them, guess what? You lose them. All right, so we want to make sure that we keeping our bones and all those joints oiled up and, and healthy and strong. All right, so I don't know if y'all can see that. Got my little yoga mat down there and my little back massager. And um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with my back. I do be having lower back problems sometimes, so that's the reason why I bought that back massage. And I'm gonna show y'all how it works. All right, all right, guys. So back massage is pretty simple. All right, you just basically get to something to lay down on, then you just roll across it. Now it's gonna move, so you're gonna have to move with it. All right. Just like this here. You can feel it all up and down. Every time I do it, I feel my back crack. I turn to the side a little bit. Get the right side. Turn to the left. Get my left side. Now like I say, as you're doing it, it's gonna keep moving. You gotta keep positioning. But it is a good workout for the back. It's a good way to pop the bones. And get a good stretch out of the bones for your back. Alright? So that's how you use back massage. All right, Kenfo, now we're about to get into some leg stretch. All right, now normally I do it for 30 seconds, but today it's gonna be a long day, so we're gonna shorten it up today, all right? So we're only gonna do it for 15 seconds, all right? So we're gonna do 15 seconds with the right, 15 seconds with the left, and then 15 seconds straight down the middle. Y'all ready? Jim in the well. Let's get it. Stretch as far as you can. Alright. 
This old hoodie on, don't got kind of nippy out here. But anyway, now that we don't finish the leg stretching, now we're about to do some arm stretching. All right, so normally we do 30 seconds, but because I got a lot that I'm trying to accomplish today, I'm gonna shorten it up so I can put everything in one video. We're gonna do 15 seconds. All right, so it's gonna be 15 seconds with your right arm down your back, another 15 seconds with your left arm down your back, 15 seconds with the right arm again, cross your chest. Another 15 seconds with the left arm, cross your chest, and then we're done. Just that simple. All right, y'all ready? Let's get it. Make sure you pull it as hard as you can. Send it all up in here. Left arm. Right arm across the chest. Left arm across the chest. leg stretching, we don't complete it all arm stretching, and now we're about to get into a little bit of cardio. Y'all ready? Jim in the well. Let's get it. It's cardio time. Alright? Now, we're gonna jump rope for five minutes, just like always. Now, I'm not gonna record the whole five minutes. You know I gotta fit all of this in one video, but you get the picture. So make sure you guys or setting your clock for five minutes, all right? And if you trip over that jump rope, Ken folk, that's all right. Pick up where you left off at, where you left off at, and keep jumping, all right? Jimmy the Well, let's get it. 